All right. Good evening, guys. So this is 8.56 p.m. January 12th. Mm, what's that? Friday, 2024. <clears throat> so as you can see, I'm late again. <laughs> and I'm not doing my Japanese lesson again today. Yeah. Today's Friday, so Saturday, Sunday. Great. You know what? I'll, I'll, this weekend, I need to do some. I'll probably do one revision class uh, tomorrow or Sunday. It's Sunday. And then from next week, probably get back to the full swing of things, which I've said <laughs> this whole week. I've been trying to do it, but yeah, I've been making one excuse after the other. So, like, uh, yeah i've been missing it <laughs> anyways so today don't have much to talk about honestly uh, i was just about to go to bed and i was actually listening to something about finance so funny thing today i was actually like uh, uh, my parents are planning to get a new car sometime soon uh, probably like their requirement is something with 4x4, something to carry stuff and all. So I was actually doing some research on that. And <laughs> I went from, it's, it's, it's pretty funny. Like I went from looking for 4x4 um, I went from like looking for 4x4 to uh, doing what was that yeah from looking for 4x4 to actually going into a rabbit hole of Toyota cars because uh, here also here in Arunachal and honestly in India it's it's probably the same it's it's the not probably it's the same situation so like in India here we have like in the 4x4 segment, like the brands that are the most reliable here, obviously Toyota. Toyota is world famous for their reliability. Then here Mahindra is another good one. That Hyundai is another good one, but Hyundai doesn't have 4x4. I think just one model, Tucson or Tucson, that's the only car with uh, some sort of all-wheel drive. It's not 4x4, it's just all-wheel drive. That's the only one they have. So if you're looking at SUVs, as in proper SUVs, it's Mahindra, Tata, and Toyota. So there are other brands as well, but they are not, especially their showrooms and their service centers are not exactly available here in Itanagar, where I live. So in Arunachal especially. So there is Isuzu as well. So like very few, and but Isuzu is, uh, they have very weak coverage here. So among the big brands here with good coverage, it's basically Toyota, Hyundai, Mahindra. But uh, Hyundai is out because they don't have it. So it's basically a choice between Mahindra and Toyota. And Suzuki. Suzuki has their new launch, Jimny. So that's that's one good one. Like. So that's bas those were basically the options. And I was actually going through lots of SUVs, digging into the models, digging into the variants available, which is recommended, which is a good. From that, I slowly went digging. And then obviously, for multiple reasons uh, that we all know, I got into the Toyota rabbit hole. Then from Toyota, I went into why you should even <laughs> buy a car and then all the way to finance and why people are getting poorer because they buy cars which is like yeah so i went through that whole cycle and it's pretty funny because yeah so so even now i was listening to some guy talking about like their minimalist lifestyle and how they're saving on money and stuff which is i actually have a lot to say on that regard as well but not today i need to go to bed quick so yeah so that was funny it's like from going through a rabbit hole of cars to a toy rabbit hole of Toyota, then why they are so reliable and stuff. And then from there slowly going to like why 
what what kind of cars cars would you even buy and you should probably buy used cars and then from that to finance and finally concluding that you know what maybe we shouldn't even get the car <laughs> so yeah it's a whole cycle man and i went through that whole cycle in one day just researching on youtube watching one video after the other so yeah that's that's a weird one so that's pretty much it uh i guess i'll check my weight <clears throat> Sixty-nine point nine. All right, that's it. So, hmm. All right. Good night. I'll see you guys. Yeah, tomorrow. <laughs>